it's your girl Somia back in again with another video so today I thought since my last video blew up of my six natural hairstyles that I did um, off my YouTube I thought that why not I do a second part but instead I do it with these crochet dreads that I got in my hair um, I have some hairstyles that I'm going to do on top of as well complementing the tattoo that I got on the side of my head so for those of you who you know don't know if you ever think about you know actually getting a tattoo on your head because your edges are not growing back this is something you know that you can do it does yes it's kind of when you first get it this your confidence is not going to be there because you have to find hairstyles that fit the look of the tattoo and you know it took me a while because i got this tattoo back in march i want to say march and it's already now april so it's like i said it's kind of hard sometimes because you have to find hairstyles that complement the look and the tattoo whatever and um when i'm feeling above and against it i can feel that there is hair growing in right here lay my edges down and like get that kind of straightened out first because that's the most important thing on doing it so basically what i do is that i just take my little mousse i would i normally have like some holding spray to hold it down but since i have an event tomorrow i'm not really going to do it until tomorrow um, I do take this just this motion mousse, just got it from Walmart, take a toothbrush or whatever maybe the case, and I just got this brush to flatten it down as well because sometimes not all the time it's a toothpaste, does it all my side looks like, okay? And mind you, um, I hate having my hair braid sometimes because my head is so itchy, but since I cut my hair off, it has to grow. So I probably will show you how I do this and then go from there because i washed my hair yesterday but this is what my edges look like they're coming intact but at the same time they're not so what we're just going to do is that we're just going to spray some mousse and then we're just going to push it down that way and take my little brush i'm going to take the softer side this is the softer side and i'm just going to press them down okay like my hair is like really So I'll come back to you guys when my edges are a little bit more done. I'll show you guys how I got my little swirls for my little edges. Um, I just separated it in two pieces like this, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna swoop it like an edge, okay? Okay, so I know this edge, these edges kind of look weird, but it's my unique way of doing it. People have their own unique ways, whatever I, that by me doing this, this is going to create that look that I've always wanted. But for me, it complements my look that I do. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I did this one. So then let me just take this baby hair and swoop it over there. There's not a lot of hair right there because of the tattoo. Okay, there's not a lot. So then, what we're just gonna do is that we're just gonna take the hair. So as you see, I'm just kind of taking the hair and placing it as for an edge. Yes, these edges may be a little bit long, but this is kind of my unique way of kind of bringing out the tattoo with the edges as well. Um, yes, they kind of look funny right now because I'm just still trying to play around with it. It does take time, consistency, and patience up for the edges to come out the exact way that you want them to. But once when you achieve the look, they will come out nice and neat and cute. And it won't look crazy because it is complemented by the hair um like i said this is my own way of kind of doing the edges so hopefully you guys may or may not like them we're back scarf has been on my head for a little bit um we are gonna get right started because i want to try to get this video uploaded for you guys later today and ta -da! oh i don't know why that one is looking kind of crusty <laughs> i don't know why that one is looking crusty don't care. Edges are edges. Anyways, so 
first hairstyle that we are going to do i did it on if you don't follow me already on tiktok then you so basically what i did is that i took two strands down i put them on the swoop side of my head i normally put them on my left side then as you see me doing is that i'm taking a big ch chunk i can't even talk a big chunk mainly towards the middle and the back i'm keeping some on the side because you don't want to have too much out um and i'm going to try to create the look like what i did on tiktok as well what i did was that i just basically put that in a bun excuse me and i feathered it out and i made it kind of look like a messy bun as well you want to have that messy bun you don't want it to look like a nice cute bun because then it's not going to look cute and as you can see on here i created that side ponytail look um you can see that there the two little strings are out and then on the side you do see that my tattoo is out um i did not like that big opening that i had on my side edge so that's why it After looks like that and construction it, this is the first look it's kind of like a messy bun type of tutorial type of deal um like i said compliments the tattoo on the side um this side is kind of just like a messy look but this is kind of going to be look number one for the locks that you can do for a type of hairstyle okay and we so in this next look what i did was that i did the half up half down i got this look from dr taylor one of her pictures how she had a top knot bun and she just had some strings hanging out um i've kind of did that type of look wanted to compliment it to make it kind of look cute um when it comes to doing this look what you want to do is you want to have like little strands out because you're not trying to make it look too nice and night you want it to kind of look messy to give it that complimenty look or whatever and then in this next one um i just did kind of like a classic look had it all down i did one of these in one of my pictures if you follow me on instagram you'll see what look i'm talking about so basically right here i'm going to be using some cute little daisy buns um what i did was that i split them off into two and I only wrapped them around the ponytail once. I wanted to create that fairy tale bun puff look, but also still create it to it being messy because you don't want it to look too nice and neat. Because when you have it too neat, it looks choppy and it looks bad. I was gonna do a side part. I mean, you could tell it might look cute, but then I realized like it is too thick for any of that. So basically, what I did next was that I just took the two pieces and I put them on the side and I slit them down the middle to create that long piece. Whatever pieces that were hanging out, I simply just tucked them inside of my hair. Um, again, this will be a cute look if you can handle the weight. They were a little bit heavy, but other than that, it did come out cute. So I was proud of that look. I'm complimentary on the side. So that's a positive A+. Plus. So for this, this is like one of the hairstyles. And then on top of that, you got like the edges to kind of like slay it or whatever would be the case. So this would be like the second look that I would do. Possibly so basically do. what I oh. did next is that I just took out the buns and I yes. kind of just let it hang. Um, I thought it was pretty cute. I was like, you know what? Let's try to do the little twist up method. So what I did is that I took both of the ends on both of the sides and I did twist them up. Um into like little pieces uh as you could tell like i was kind of debating on if it would look cute or not but then i realized you have to kind of play with it around to see if it's going to come out cute or whatever would be the case what i did was that i twisted up both of the ends and then i just did a two strand twist and twisted it all the way down to the end and then put a rubber band on there um and it kind of gave me that messy uh flow look i don't know what they call it but I thought it did come out cute. I was talking a lot, so I have to do a voiceover. But you'll see in the next um, couple of clips that you will see what the back looks like. I thought this was really cute, so. Um, this is like one of another hairstyles that I would do. Still got the tattoo complimented out, um, whatever may be the case. So this is another hairstyle that I personally, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I would do this makeup snatch, cute, whatever. You got your head gone. Okay? So that's another hairstyle. So in this next look, I am going to be doing a bun. And um, as you can see that it is a lot of hair. I mean, it's not a lot of hair, but um, I decided to put it in a bun. Give it a messy look, but also still a cute. Everything that hairstyles that you see is messy here. Um, I did thought it looked cute like that way 
but me i was being picky and thought maybe i could twist it up and make it seem like it was cute and i kept changing my mind and my decision but this is kind of what you'll see towards the end of what it looks like when it is twisted out i thought it would be better if it was untwisted but depending on how you take it some people like the twist and some people don't like the twist if you like the twist it's just a two strand twist and then at the very end do a three braided strand so it does not unloose or you can pair rubber bands but i like it untwisted so here i'm just taking the little twist putting it behind my ears a side part piece um kind of like a little chill back kind of slick look i mean it's not really nothing special but it's just a piece of a look um i like the little flyaways that hang in the front i think that's really cute um as you can see here that that's just one kind of unique style that you can do i mean i think it's cute but how the way you put it it may turn into it looking kind of like the predator hair <laughs> but um as you can see next i'm switching it over to i'm going to be doing some two pigtails um i thought the pigtails were cute like i said i'm real confident on how my hair looks because i got the tattoo yes i am still trying to get used to my size being gone but you'll see in this next clip i did pigtails So as you can see next, I'm just taking the pigtails out of my hair, repositioning it up for another look. Um, this look I was kind of a little iffy on because, you know, I'm still trying to get comfortable with the tattoo on my head as well, making it still kind of look cute, giving it that edgy look because um, you don't want to do too much and it looks funny. So um, I started this way. Um, we did a half up ponytail um, with the two strings hanging out. Um, it kind of was cute, but it was like, I wasn't really feeling it. And then I was like, you know what, why don't we just try to do a top knot bun? Um, and you'll see here within a couple of seconds is that, um, I will twist it up and we'll put it in a bun. That's just another cute look that you can do with it as well. If you're comfortable, like I said, um, I'm still getting used to trying to get in my sides, how my sides are out and everything like that. So trying to get used to that as well. Um, like I said, these clips kind of jumping fast because I was in a time rush. I had to go somewhere, but here you can see it's a side ponytail Whatever. and it's slicked. And I like the two strings. So then you got this type of look and then you got like the little baby hairs pressed out or whatever may be the case so this is like another classic look that the longest time but it, it i guess because this is here it's too slick okay so i don't have my big clips with me the last thing I said was that I didn't have my big clips with me. Um, what I did was that I had stuffed this into like a messy bun um, to try to make kind of like a low bun material look here as well because I did have that undercut in the back. And what I did was I created a, a messy bun because with dreads, you can kind of keep the look messy but also still keep it cute too at the same time. So that's what I did. I had some little strings hanging out in the front because I wanted it to have like that side piece. And then I created it the little bun and I made it look cute for that way too as well. Give it like a business boss look. I have my makeup on what looks would have been all slayed, but I wanted to give like a natural look today. And this is what I came up with. Um, like I said, I don't remember how many hairstyles I came up with. These are just kind of like the top ones that can go really good for. It's the summertime, you still wanna look cute. People who have locks or who have, where that is just um, from tight pulling and braiding cause thinning, lost and thinningness of hair. I got a tattoo on my side of my head to um, get rid of complement the traction of alopecia that I had on my head because it was um, my right side was a lot worse because there was barely any hair growing back on my head but um, that's why I got the tattoo on my head if you want to 
um, see that kind of deal, there will be a video on my previous videos down below. Whatever, you can go check those out, whatever may be the case. But um, I hope you guys did like this video and you did like me doing these hairstyles again. Like I said, my last video blew up because I did natural, six natural hairstyles for thinning edges. And a lot of you guys like that, so I thought, you know, why not? Since my hair is done, let me just show you a couple of hairstyles that you could do with the dread crochets locks and then call it good from there but like i said thank you for tuning into my channel i love you guys all and i will see you guys in my next youtube video bye